So here I have painting stones, how to turn rocks and pebbles into mini works of art. And first thing I wanted to say is that this was a Hurt book from Search Press. You may be able to see on the back cover there's a little tiny crease, but the pages inside are absolutely fine. Now I thought this was such a lovely book, the designs are so pretty that I really wanted to have a look at this. Now Search Press don't have many Hurt books, but it's really worth having a look and just you may be able to get a real bargain. Now when I first saw this cover I thought this looks really intricate but it has got step-by-step -step instructions. It was published in 2022 and it has 96 pages. It's very glossy and unfortunately we do have some light reflections. We have a picture of the author Marion and we have the contents which is the basics and then the 20 projects which start with the simplest and work down to the more complicated. So we start off with where to find stones, what to do with wonky stones, how to fill holes in stones. We have paint and varnish, brushes and brush care, painting techniques, glazing and white backgrounds and then we have the level of difficulty. Now these symbols appear on the top left hand side of the project pages. One stone for enthusiastic beginners, two for courageous more advanced painters and three for seasoned brush pushers. And then we have the first project. So the symbol is here. We have the title of the project, a little bit about the project, a statement by the author and her wish. We have a lovely full page colour photo. So it's very easy to see the finished stone. Now, is this a great book for people who don't want to wade through lots of information, but just pick up and start the, the project straight away? Now we have the step-by-step -step instructions and a tip at the end to help you. Then we move on to the clownfish with two stones, a lizard, and we have a goldfish, and a fluffy bee. We move on to two stones with a really charming cottage and a little owl. There are not any instructions for the little owl, but you could copy that picture. A beautiful feather, it's so realistic. A swan. And I love this dragonfly. Those little water drops, they're so realistic as well. This is very clever, this book. A yellow mandala a guardian angel and such a cute panda, so fluffy looking. I just love the texture on these stones. An elephant, a penguin with a little baby, a blue mandala, And level three with this very detailed and fine dandelion. And then we have a cat and a dragon made up of three stones, a turtle with six stones. And look at this a cute mouse peeping out of a stone with a daisy in its mouth. That is so cute. So it is quite a complicated book for a young person, but for an adult or anyone with a little bit of experience, I think you'll be fine with this book. And if you are looking for a book for a child, have a look at Search Press. They do have some other books on painting with stones.